Welcome to the second chapter on the Greeks. In this chapter, we're going to look at Delta. I've got Apple options listed and Apple is currently trading at $571.70. In fact, that's the price it traded. It closed at last night. So let's look at the Apple May series, which have 24 days to expiry. So what I've done is I've put my columns. We can always customize our columns. I've put the Delta values the mark which is the midpoint between the bid and ask prices and I've got deltas listed for all my call options here along with the strike prices and then on the put side we've got deltas here as well. The mark price represents obviously the midpoint and the fair value of that option at this time. First of all we can see that Apple is moving in the after hours so it closed at 571 last night but today the bid and ask prices have moved to 577. So we can expect Apple to move up when the market opens at 9.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And that's why our 575 call is actually showing in the money. Even though Apple closed at 571, option prices are reflecting some action in the aftermarkets. But the 580 call has a delta of 0.51. So if you remember from the previous chapter, delta primarily represents the amount of movement in the option price for a $1 move in the underlying stock in Apple. So if Apple moves up by $1, then our 580 call is going to move up by 51 cents. So it's going to go up from 24.57 to 25 point something. Similarly, we can see that in the money call options, uh, let's say the 520 is currently trading for about $61, but it has a delta of 0.88. So in the money options are going to move much faster 